guys, welcome back to Tismania TV. In today's video, I am doing my collective haul for September 2018. As per usual with my collective hauls, I'm not recording everything in one take. In case you're wondering why my hair and outfit and makeup might change, I just do that so that I can record the new items as soon as I've gotten them and then I can put them away rather than having to pile them up and like record everything all at once. So for the first part, I have two completely random items from different spots. First is a makeup product and it is my favorite foundation that I had run out of in my regular like lighter shade not during the summer because I got tanned but I still have the number three which is my uh, tanned version. The number two is the one that I was out of and this is the product. It is a silicone based airbrush foundation by Airbase. This according to me is the best airbrushing foundation formula out there because you don't have to use the airbrush to apply it. You can use your fingers, which is what I do most of the time because I'm lazy and I don't always have time to clean my air gun. So uh, this is fantastic because you don't have to use an airbrush. So anybody can get this. This is what the package looks like out of the box. So it's a 30 milliliter size and this might not look like much, but this lasts a really, really long time because you only need like a couple of drops to get full coverage. But yeah, this is number two, which is called Light Medium, and I have the entire range. I was just running low on the number two. This was purchased straight from Airbase in the UK, so their UK shop. I will post a link directly to that in the caption box. I'm pretty sure they have a US shop too, if you're in the US. The second item is a pair of knee-high socks that I picked up at the Stockholm Ink Bash Tattoo Expo. The brand is called Stans, and they are Friday the 13th socks. Look at that. I haven't even taken them out of the pack yet, but I'll do that so I can insert like a looky loo of what they look like for you guys here. Um, I don't know if Stans is the brand because up here it says the common thread. That might be the brand as well. This is a size medium, which is sizes six to eight and a half in US sizes. And I'm a size 39, like European 39. So this should fit me well. And yeah, so we have Jason and this would actually go pretty well with what I'm wearing today. So I might have to <laughs> actually just put them on and wear them. And this I won't have a direct link to because I bought it at the expo, but you can always look up stands or look up the Uncommon Thread and see like if you can find it online. But they had different kinds of sock, a bunch of cool ones. And I just figured that this one was one that went best with me just for the colors are black and red and white. And also it's freaking Jason, like, come on. <laughs> Next up, I have a couple of items from Crazy Factory. Piercing jewelry, as you guys can tell, starting off with these plugs that I bought before, but in the wrong kind of jewelry. This is the right kind. These are double flared acrylics. I love the design on these. My size is 30 millimeters and I'm so happy to finally have them in the right version. I paid $46.90 each for them. Then I also got double flared white acrylics with a white skull on. Very simple, but still, you know, really awesome. <laughs> and same price for those, $46.90 each, so $93.80 for both. Then I got an extra bar for the nipple piercings. This is longer than the ones I wear. This is 16 millimeters, just in case I get like a blowout or something. It's just good to have. So two millimeters thick and I paid 854 Swedish Krona for that. Then I got a new BCR, which is a ball closure ring for my six millimeter septum. This is 14 millimeters in diameter and six millimeters thick. 56.49 Swedish Krona was the price of that. And then I got a six millimeter clear silicone tunnel for my septum as well. These are super comfortable, just when you don't want to wear something huge. This was 566 Swedish Krona. And then the final product is this, which is a little disc with a skull on it. I thought it would go nice together with the skull plugs. So this is eight millimeters in diameter and it's for a 1.6 bar. So for my Medusa, I paid 17 Swedish Krona for that. So all in all, I paid 275.46 Swedish Krona for all these items. For the next part of the haul, I just quickly want to show you that I got new glasses. Some of you might not even be aware that I wear glasses, but that's probably because I only wear them in front of the computer. So I don't need them for anything else. And I actually 
hadn't gotten new ones for 10 years. Ah, so yeah, it was definitely time. My eyesight hadn't changed that much though. The right side is way shittier than the left. The left is near perfection. So if I only use my left eye to see, I can see very well. But when I only use my right eye, everything is blurry. Like you don't even notice that from day to day because this little guy here compensates for the shitty guy. So when I went to the optician and did the test and they covered my left eye, I was like, I'm blind. <laughs> and my old glasses still work okay. The optician was actually quite surprised that my eyesight hadn't gotten that much worse in 10 years. But the old glasses, maybe I should get those so you can see them too. So these old ones are from 2008 and I don't like these at all anymore. This is what they look like. I don't like this model at all. Also, to put them on properly, they press my ears down. Look at that. Like, <laughs> so I have to wear them like loosely, which means like it just, it just doesn't look good. And they're too wide for me. And I don't know, like this model, I guess was popular at the time. And they're like pink, like pink details on the inside. And just, yeah, not very test at all. So the new ones are black and this is the little package. I went to a chain here in Sweden, which is called Smart Ice. That's the optician. That's also the brand that's on the glasses. So I'm not sure that this is something that you can find anywhere else in the world. I have no freaking idea. Here they are. So big dorky black glasses and that is what I wanted. I love it so much. I love that they're big because I have very little hair. Like I only have bangs as you guys know. It's fun to have glasses that are quite big that take up a lot of space and these are, yeah, these do that. <laughs> so they're solid black except for the edges where they have this little leopard print which, hello, <laughs> I thought was perfect. And don't ask me to like repeat the numbers of like how faulty my eyes are because I have no fucking idea. <laughs> like that's the boring part. I just wanted to get the new shades. <laughs> and they were doing a uh, campaign at Smart Eyes. So I got the, um, so the test and like the time with the optician was for free, but it usually costs some money obviously and the shades that i found were actually 75 percent off on sale what like such a bargain so all in all like with the glasses and uh, everything i only paid 750 swedish krona and because these are what i use for work they're called terminal glasses like not terminal as in oh my god you're gonna die but terminal as you use them in front of a computer screen thus you need them for work and that means that you can deduct them off of your taxes so i'm gonna get some of the money back off of these as well which is fan fucking tastic i don't know if anyone else does that but that's how we do it here in sweden and i'm pretty happy about it because i need these to see in front of the computer so yeah i really like them Next up, I have this month's items from Shein. You will find the direct links both to the site itself and to the pieces that I'm about to show you in the caption box to this video if you want to go get them for yourself. First, we have a tank top or a crop top. This I actually have in a different color and I love it so much that I decided to get it in a second color. I got it in army green, but it is available in white, gray and black as well. And I have it in white. These are so versatile. I could get one in each color because they're so great to wear with high-waisted shorts or high-waisted skirts or suspender pants or suspender skirts. And I wear a lot of those kind of things. So uh, yeah, I really like these and I like army green. I know that it doesn't match the green that my hair is, but you know what? I don't actually care about matching. I kind of like that it clashes a little bit. So yeah, I decided to go for the army green. And I absolutely love these. They're so, so, so comfortable and stretchy and uh, just like these little buttons, you can button them all the way or leave a couple of buttons open and just, uh, yeah, very, very happy with this. The second thing is a pair of trousers or pants. These are a little bit more like leggings than I wish. When I look at the photos on the website, I can kind of tell that that's where I was heading with these, but I still wanted to try them. And these, just like the tank top, are available in a bunch of different colors and different stripes. 
and uh, if you like them just get one of each you know so they have this elastic uh, waistband they do have pockets which kind of takes away that leggings feeling a little bit and they're not like leggings fabric at all I don't know I just kind of when there's no zipper or there's no like way to open the pants up I kind of feel like I'm wearing leggings you know, at least when they're tight. I don't hate these in any way. I'm gonna get some use out of them. The main reason I got them was so that I can wear them for work occasions when I kind of need to be a little more proper in my attire and uh, they will work well for that, I think. But I can also, as with all my items, punk them out by like folding them up and wearing them with more trashy stuff and big ass combat boots and stuff. So. They are versatile, but my main usage for these, I think, will be for work situations. Thank you, Shein, and again, you'll find the links in the caption box. We're gonna move on to some items that I bought from a shop here in Stockholm that I mentioned a thousand times before. It's called Shock, and it's also available in Malmö and Gothenburg and online, obviously. And the sad news are that the Stockholm shop is closing by the time this video is published, the shop is gonna be closed already, and I'm really sad that the shop is closing. There are very few alternative shops left in Stockholm, and this was my favorite one. So I was very sad to hear that they were closing down, but I heard that the rents were being raised like crazy high on that street, so they were just not able to stay anymore. You can still buy all their stuff online and in the other two shops, but I'm gonna miss being able to just pop in there when I'm in the city. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be, it, it feels a little bit like the end of an era because I really love that shop. Anyway, so before closing, they had everything in the shop on sale. I was there like two weeks before closing and like half the stuff was already gone from the shop and everything was at least 30% off and some was more than that. So I got a couple items. The first item is a t-shirt that I have been wearing a lot, so I had to fish this out of the laundry basket now. I got this in a double XL because I wanted this to be super big on me, almost like a t-shirt dress. It is the feminist symbol and it says highly flammable and you have two gals on there. Anyway, it's a freaking cool t-shirt and this is the kind of t-shirt fabric that is so soft straight out of the pack. I absolutely love those kind of t-shirts. So I've been living in this since I bought it, just throwing on some leggings and yeah, it's, I really love this. I'm sure that this is available on the Shock website though. I'll try to find it and put it in the caption box if I can. And then I was running low on my two favorite hair dyes. It's these two from Directions. It's fluorescent glow and spring green. These two combined is how I get my acid green hair and they were 30% off. So, I mean, Directions is cheap from the beginning, but now it's like ridiculously cheap. And because I have so little hair, this lasts me a long, long time. While we're on the subject of green, I also saw these cool super green shoelaces. These are from Doc Martens and they are for 10 whole shoes. I don't know if I'm gonna put these in my black docks or if I'm gonna put them on something else, but just, you know, I like the matchy <laughs> thing. So uh, yeah, really like those. And then the final thing is this. I thought this was a pin, but it is actually a magnet. So I put it on my fridge instead of on my bag. And it's just the feminist symbol with a closed fist. So yeah, very happy to get those things on sale, but so sad to see the Shock Stockholm store close. It's, yeah, it's very sad. Next, I have a sweater that I purchased secondhand off of a person on Facebook. I'm part of a bunch of Facebook groups that sell alternative clothing. And this is a little sweater. It's kind of a, a shorter one with like three quarter sleeves and obviously it's leopard print as you can tell. I'm pretty sure this is originally from H&M. The tag is no longer in here, but I recognize like from the sizing tag, this is usually what their stuff looks like. Yep, H&M, haha, <laughs> called it. And uh, I'm not really a fan of these kind of sweaters because they look very dainty and girly, but because it is leopard, I decided to go for it anyway and even I need to look dainty sometimes. So I thought it would be nice for like family occasions or maybe for professional stuff. And as always with me, I can punk the fuck out of this if I want to. Like wearing it with high-waisted shorts and uh, really, really torn tights and maybe some knee highs and just my big old boots. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'm still happy that I got it. We'll see when I get some use out of it. And then I have the final two items for this month's haul. These are both from Wish. 
I haven't purchased anything from Wish since I think like Christmas last year um, for a couple of reasons. For one, they got things wrong a lot of the time whenever, especially when I bought clothes, the sizes were off, the fabrics were off, like the everything was off a lot of the time. And other times it's worked fine, but just I, I just got tired of the whole thing. And also they started adding this extra taxes in Sweden for stuff that's brought in from Asia. So, so many people stopped buying from Wish. They stopped picking up their packages. There were like mountains of Wish packages in the postal offices in Sweden earlier this year. They were like, we, we can't do this. It's not gonna work because people are gonna stop buying. So instead of adding the taxes afterwards, if people get that shock when they pick up their package that they have to pay for that, they add it to the price at Wish. So when you're in the shop, you can see all the prices you're gonna pay there. It's included in that price now, it wasn't before. I don't know, I kind of started looking at Wish again and decided to buy these two items. The first is a pair of harem trousers. These are super, super wrinkly. I haven't worn them yet. I've just opened the pack and tried them on really fast. And for one, they don't look exactly the way they do in the photos. In the photos, they look super fluffy and way lower in the crotch than they actually are, which is what I wanted. So it's a little bit disappointing, but it's Wish, so what are you gonna do? But I think that once they're ironed, the fit will be a little bit better because they really are super wrinkly right now. Also, the color is a little bit off. These are supposed to be black, but they're a very cold black. So they're like a grayish blue black, but it's fine. I like harem pants. They're comfy. There's nothing wrong with them and they fit, which is the most important part. So the sizing chart was true this time. I think I got them in an XL just to make sure that they were like really low. I didn't want them to rise like too high up. And then the second item is a harness and this I'm actually really pleased with. This is a harness that I've been looking at for so, so long. And the original design is obviously not from Wish, but I can't afford to buy fancy pants harnesses. I have to make them myself or buy the really cheap versions. Like I checked the measurements that are available on Wish, but I couldn't find the one for the thing that you tighten around your waist. And I was like, this is never gonna fit me because it's usually Asian sizes and they're usually really, really small in these kind of shops. I think this was a one size thing. So I was like, ah, is this gonna fit? But it's so cheap, so fine, I'll just get it. And it fits, it fits really well. There's actually room for more. So I'm a size medium. If you're maybe a size large, I'm sure it'll fit you too. And both the uh, neck choker piece has several settings so it's adjustable for different sized necks as well as the strap in the back there are five holes in this and it's pretty easy to make more if you're thinner so yeah i'm very very pleased with this i haven't had a chance to wear it yet i just got it the other day but it looks so much fun and it's gonna be called wear it over stuff like for instance wear a pretty simple dress and then you wear this over it and it gets like a super dramatic effect rather than wearing a big ass necklace for instance and the links to the wish items i'm pretty sure i will be able to put in the caption box to this video if you want to go check those out and uh yeah i think that's it for this month's collective haul actually i might have forgotten some stuff but i'll just use it in next month <laughs> so uh yeah thank you guys for watching and remember do no harm but take no shit. i'll see you next time